to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for our main event. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters. All right, keep busy out there. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Great movement to get away from those punches. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. by Ward. That hook was well off the mark. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Stay away from those. Come on. Ward's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Nice work with the uppercut. Misses his opponent's headshot. Keep working the body. Blocks that punch. <gasps> A good block. Right to the belt line. He scores with the left. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. Blocks that punch. He's doing a really good job here of being patient. And patient with a good reason, Teddy. You can tell he's got a counterpuncher mentality. What's the key to being a counterpuncher? Well, being patient, first of all, and understanding what you have to get your opponent to do to help you. Because this doesn't work just on you. It's not like the front end where you create it. It's a little help from your opponent. He's got to come in. You've got to draw him in to throw a punch so you can make a miss. And then you have the alleyway to land something. Goes up top with a right hand. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Nice work. 
Nice work. And he's holding. Another clinch. Ward's well off the mark that time. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds. A round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Come on, get focused. That's what I want to see. right hand to the body and he just holds on there blocks that belt line well coming to the halfway point of this third round His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Ward's movement helped out there, he avoided that punch. One, two, one, two. Head movement, head movement. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while. You know, sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Block by Ward. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. And you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You gotta watch the Relax. Well, Teddy's scorecard has him up a round, but we're yet to get into the meat of the matter of this fight.
What a shot. The left hand came in. Left to the body. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Blocks that punch. Halfway through round number four. Now hugging on the inside. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here you every which way. One. Blocking punches, moving well, parrying punches away. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. Jump on, that's it! hand after getting tagged himself fourth round now with his last 10 seconds oh hands up hands up you can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round as we come to the end of this round you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing well you're right the first thing that i notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad you know that's a defeated fighter that's a fighter he don't want to go back something bad happened to him you know he's leaning back like that you have to pick him up from the stool he's got all his weight forward he can't wait to get going you know that he's positive you know that he had a good round do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Keep moving, keep moving. You're not focusing. One, two. One, two. To the head he goes with a left hand. Halfway into round number five here. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Oh, you're doing great. Pace yourself. Protecting his head well with his guard.
to protect the midsection. Now he ties up there. Nice! Wow, is he defensively sound. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. to dismiss that body shot. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Keep moving. Keep moving. Anybody, you see him anybody. holding on. He saw the uppercut. He took advantage. How about that left right there? Clinch him. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Back to the body. <laughs> Comes right back at him with a left hand. Ward's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Boy, some of the old school guys really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bug shot. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Solid. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Just what he needed, the bell to end that round. He was taking a lot of punishment there. Well, if he hit a bad driver, you know, he was a golfer, you say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it, there's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is, you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. Good flush, straight left hand. Watch the body, kid. Body shots. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the Ward's been off, hurt. He turned things around and now his up. opponent. Oh, and there you go. Can he get?
get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Ward still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy, but at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves. I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Ward. Back to the box. Ward's able to avoid that punch. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. Keep working, buddy. Ward's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Last 10 seconds. Tried the hook, didn't get it. How you doing? Nice and calm. Nice and calm, right? How you feel? He's coming. Round number eight is underway, and Teddy, a chance to look at your scorecard. You got him up pretty good. We often use that word judicious in describing a fighter, of picking your spots and being effective when you do. Well, that's a good point, Joe, and that's exactly what he's relax, doing. You know, relax. he's making him do what he wants him to without even coming forward. You know, he's pushing him all over the ring, but not with any physical force, just by making sure that he controls the guy mentally, that he makes the guy feel a certain amount of pressure, and makes the guy react the way he wants him to react. Ward's got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fight is in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Halfway point of round number eight. Keep working, bud. Keep moving. Keep moving. Nowhere close that punch by Ward. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. 
he's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability keep to move, always be move. fresh and confident love, round after round punch. since he's not taking a lot of punishment. by a big Switch. shot. Look at that. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. back up but is he back in the fight we're gonna find out in a second whether or not he moves his head now if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer you better get up on those steps and stop it he's not right three minutes gone by in this round he's winning the fight i mean don't don't tell me anything different than he's winning the fight yeah except at the end of the fight sometimes these judges they do tell you things differently right. hopefully that's not the case well he's, he's up way on the punch stats i know he's ahead on your scorecard and you can just tell everything that's okay. happening in the ring he's Keep in control wards showing us that he is sticking with the game plan Uppercut. but keep in mind that game plan had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Teddy? Well, first of all, you got to explain to him very quickly and very clearly why he got caught. You can still do the other things. The other things that we thought going into this fight is still going to work, but make an adjustment. It's not that you didn't do the thing that could work. You didn't do it properly. Blocks it away. Able to get him up against the ropes. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Wards, oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open, and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. Seconds to go in this round. Not able to land the headshot. This round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Good shot there with that left. Way to block there. Right. What? 
dodge that. <laughs> Keep it up. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Throws a counter punch there. Halfway through this round. Keep it going. <sighs> Able to cover up that gut. Unload! Unload! More punches! Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Focus. <laughs> oh, he just misses with that headshot. towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. And that does it for this round. But he misses with a punch. Well, we'll see if he can come up with that something special, that jackpot being cashed in, because there's no doubt about it. I mean, just look at your scorecard here, Teddy, as we start round number 11. He is in a big hole. Now, this is where the trainer has to remind him. There was a moment in camp. The trainer's been with him for a long time, since he was a kid. The trainer has to remind him, one of those solemn moments when he opened up to him and he said, this is what I want to be. Well, guess what, son? Here's the moment. Turns fire with a left hand. <sighs> Pace yourself. Just grabbing on to his opponent. Ninety seconds to go in this eleventh round. Punch. Punch. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Come on. Blocks the headshot. Good smooth work by Ward. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. He just missed that shot up top. 
Ward's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Hard to see a way in which this fight changes. I mean, he's been outworked. That round just proved it again. He's been outworked consistently all night long. Well, look, you want to stay with the fundamentals. You don't want to get away from that. You want to use a jab. You want to bring your feet. You know, you want to get into certain ranges. But at this point, you have to find a way to land okay. a big punch. You have to emphasize that to your fighter. It is desperation time. You have to go after him. that time it was intended to the head <laughs> left and right left and right halfway through this 12th and final round Took it's a okay, shot, now go. he gives a left. to go in this the final round see the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs I say it all the time you never know what you're gonna get in this sport we never thought this fight would go the distance no early on it looked like Frazier and Ali I mean the thrill in Manila who thought we'd wind up with a little ballet down the stretch A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd, not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave it any other way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.